you join me on this video where I want to talk about all things PVA. I've seen a number of posts recently on social media and I don't know whether that's from sort of newcomers to the sport, people that aren't just too sure how to use the various different products on the market nowadays. So I want to give you a real quick rundown of all the PVA products on the market and how's the best way to use them in your fishing. Next up, I'll show you a few things that you can do with PVA tape. Now PVA tape is quite versatile in its uses really, it's got a few different uses and I use it in these ways in my own fishing. So first up, similarly to the foam nugget, if you've got a rig and you want to say use a little little mesh bag on the, uh, on the hook as well, then uh, I tend to, if you can see there, tie off the back of the hair to the shank of the hook which means that isn't going to go like I say twisting round when your rig is in flight and then I can just nick on a little PVA mesh bag onto the uh, onto the point of the hook and know safely that that's gone out and that's going to be fishing effectively with no tangles so that's one way that you can use PVA tape Next up is probably something that's long forgotten to be fair, and uh, that is a stringer. Now if you've never heard of a stringer, it's essentially sort of two or three baits, or even half, half baits, pulled onto the PVA tape as so. So I've got, got a dummy rig there, got a couple of boilies mounted on bait and needle, and the length of the PVA, PVA tape. Now what I do is just double it over, like so, the sort of loop end that's been doubled over I'll just put the needle around it so that the needle runs onto the loop and that can't be pulled off put the latch down and just feed the boilies down slowly not too fast because you can tend to if your boilies are quite soft you can tend to split them so there's one do the same with the other boilie slide them down Two. So what I also like to do is just leave a little gap amongst the boilies. And like I say, you usually do sort of two or three, two or three boilies on the uh, on the PVA tape. And what I like to do is then leave a big enough loop at the top to get my rig, drop it through as so. So drop it through the back of the bait. So the bait is hanging out the bottom. And then just push one of the boilies up again, just so that is flush with the bottom of the hook. And then move the other boilie up like so. And I could get another boilie on there. I've just done this two bait stringer for video purposes. So I've had a three bait stringer on there. There'll be another one underneath that one and again that is pulled up nice and tight so that I know that that bait isn't going to twist around the shank of the hook in flight so that's a real sort of old and forgotten tact old forgotten tactic that I don't really see many people use anymore but it's definitely one not to be sniffed at so that's a stringer with the PVA tape and then last but not least, I won't show you it in this part of the video, but you can use the PVA tape for also tying off solid bags, which I'll show you next. 